Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks right here, coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush Autographed uh, Baseballs. Nice. This is a uh, eight box, random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember, stuff like this doesn't have a checklist, so we're gonna go by our usual non-checklist rule. The baseball goes to the team they played for the longest if they're retired, and the team they're currently on if they are active. All right, they're on an active roster even if they're on the IL, they're still active. All right, so there you go. It's a lot of fun stuff in here, a lot of big names to chase, right? So it should be pretty exciting. So remember, trade at your own risk. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the action. There are the teams right here. Oh, I need some dice. There we go, let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Five and a one, six times for each list. One. And sixth and final time, after six, we've got Andy down to Nancy. And then five and a one, six times for the teams. And sixth and final time, good luck. After six times, we got the Rangers down to the Nats. And we'll also use uh, baseballreference.com as, as the indicator on what team they go if they're retired. Okay, Andy, you have the Texas Rangers, Edwin with the Blue Jays, Aaron, you got my Dodgers, Nancy with the Red Sox, Brett with, uh, with the Mariners, Nick Stober with the Indians, David with the Marlins, Dan with the Mets, Nancy with the Yankees, Nick with the Strohs, Jarrell with the Giants, Aaron with the Rocks, Oliver with the A's, Spencer with the O's, Nick with the Padres, Twins for Rex, Rex has the Twins up for trade, Nick Stover with the Braves and the Phillies, Matt Hedges with the Tigers, Tyler with the Diamondbacks, Stephen Kay with the Rays, David with the White Sox, Kevin with the Cubs, TJ with the Royals, Tyler with the Pirates, Aaron with the Cardinals, Thomas with the Reds, Jim with the Brewers, Adam with the Halos, and Nancy with the Nats. Let's sort this by column B. I'm going to pause the video for just a little bit and see if there's any uh, see if there's any trades when we come back so if you're watching the video just stick around for just a second all right welcome back folks there were no trades some trade offers out there but in the end no deals were done it's all good so here we go eight box random team number one of 2020 gold rush autograph baseballs put your thinking caps on folks because we're gonna we're gonna play some quick rounds of who am I America's favorite game <laughs> no one else has come up with this game except for us who am I? Now, for example, we're going to use Rod Carew as an example. Remember, there's no checklist. So we'll go by our non-checklist rules, which means if they're retired, like Rod Carew is, it'll go the team he played for the longest, which would be the Twins. He played with the Twins for 12 seasons right here. If for whatever reason those years are exactly the same, then we'll, we'll go tiebreaker by games right here and then plate appearances and so on and so forth. All right, so let's flip back to the screen right here. And let's pop this open. I didn't see another case, but keep your eye on the website. We do have another case. Are we posting it? Oh, there, there you go. Hot off the, the news, hot off the presses. Extra, extra, read all about it. We do have another case of this. So if you miss out on the first time, do not miss out on the second time. Oh, boy, oh, I've, I've unboxed this terribly. Oh, God. What a mess. All right. So you can look on the top screen. You can see four right there. And then another four right over here. See, I want to make sure they don't have... Okay, the name's on the very back. All right, they give you a nice uh, ball cube right here, too. 
Now, this, this is a hard one, I think. If someone gets this off the bat, I'll be impressed. All right, who am I? I am a... I, am I still alive? I think I'm still alive. Uh, I'm, 80, I'm 87 years old, born in New York, New York, back in 1933, a nine-time All-Star. Got a lifetime 266 batting average, 374 home runs, 1,730 hits. And I've played for, well, do I have any other little tidbits for you? Let's look. Some of you who have played this game before may remember this character. Um, in 1959, I hit four consecutive home runs in one game. In 1965, I became the first American League outfielder to play a complete season with a perfect 1,000 fielding percentage, which is pretty amazing. I was an all-star for six seasons, was in nine all-star games. Fifth player in the history of the AL to have 11 consecutive 20 home run seasons between 1956 and 66. During that span, I've, ex I've exceeded uh, 40 home runs three times, 100 runs batted in six times, led the AL in home runs, RBI slugging once each. And I ranked third amongst AL right-handers for home runs and eighth for AL games played in right field with 1,272 by the end of my playing career in 1968. And I currently live in Berks County, Pennsylvania. What did I do later in my life? I was a broadcaster for one season for the team I played for the longest, a hitting coach and broadcaster in 76, First base coach for a couple years, hitting coach for the Royals for a couple years. In 1982, myself and Royals manager Dick Hauser, a former shortstop, uh, were involved in a traffic accident and struggled with police. Myself and Hauser were convicted of interfering with police and received 90 day jail sentences. Both appealed and served six months of probation. I was also involved in the 1983 Pine Tar game and was ejected for arguing the umpire's decision to negate George Brett's home run and call him out, which would have given the Yankees the win. The decision was later overturned. The game resumed a month later with the Royals in the lead. And as a result of Brett's home run, the Royals won the game. So who am I? There you go. LaserJet knows how to Google. It's Rocky Colavito. There you go. Don't use Google, though. That's no fun. All right, there he is, Rocky Colavito, who played for the Cleveland Indians the longest. Played for eight seasons with the Tribe and then four seasons with the Tigers. You got your Beckett sticker on the back right there. It's a nice case, too. You got the Beckett card right in here as well. So that goes to the tribe, and it's Nick Stober. This is break number one. Next one. Let's look at the back of the baseball here. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on a second. Thank you. 
All right. All right. This is this is a difficult one. I had to, I had to get some consulting. No, it's too easy, Joe, especially with you. You're too good at this to look at it. And he's got a really nice autograph as well. Everyone's going to know this. Um, I had a career 199 batting average, 35 career hits, 7 runs batted in. Who am I? I also had 2,728 managerial wins in my career with 2,365 losses. Won three World Series, four Managers of the Year. The two teams that I managed right here, I think uh, of the two of the three teams I managed, my, my number is retired or I'm in their Hall of Fame. And the team that he played and managed together the longest was and I'm a Hall of Famer obviously and uh, Oakland A's is the team I both played for and managed for combined I guess is the longest there you go oh, yeah Oliver and TJ has got it it's Tony La Russa. Now, unless he specifically writes something about the Cardinals here, it's going to go to the A's. No, he just has HOF inscription right here. There you go. There's the JSA right here. And the JSA card right over here. So that goes to Oliver and the A's. I actually don't know. All right, next baseball. All right. My nickname, well, first of all, my, I had a career 306 batting average, 3,319 hits, 234 home runs, 1,307 runs batted in, and 504 stolen bases. Wow. A righty, DH, infielder, who am I? Ricky had a little more than 500 stolen bases. Who did he play for the longest? Oh, that team by far. I didn't really, I guess, I didn't really think. I thought it was, might be a little more even. No, Ollie's got it right away. Paul Molitor. Man, there's a lot, a lot of great stats. He played for 15 seasons with the Milwaukee Brewers. Three with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays in the last three seasons of his career with the Twins. I guess I thought he played more seasons for the Twins and Blue Jays. 
right there. PSA DNA. Nice. There's the PSA DNA right here. And who's got the Brewers? Jim Murray with the Brew Crew. All right, Grizzle, what's up? All right, next baseball. How'd you get that right away, Oliver? You just have Paul Molitor stats in your head? <laughs> what up, Tim? Yeah. I guess I'm a little famous. All right, who am I? This guy was pretty good too. This guy has some pretty impressive stats, I want to say. All right, I'm a Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, 7-time Gold Glover, 6-time Silver Slugger. Was I a first-round pick? Yeah, I think I was a first-round pick. I was a 40th-round pick. And then after I finished college, I was a first-round pick, fourth overall, back in the uh, early 70s. I have a career, 283 batting average, 465 home runs, 3,110 hits, 18, a little over 1,800 RBIs, and uh, 223 stolen bases. This guy's pretty good. Who am I? I played for. I'm going to go by the shortest amount of years to the to the most. I played for. The home run total was 465. Played for a year in Toronto, a year in Cleveland, two years with the Angels, the California Angels, two years with the Twins, eight years with the Padres, and nine seasons with this team. Although, as far as, and it'll go to the team he played for the longest as per the rules, but I don't think he went into the Hall of Fame as this, uh, with this team. I think he had a contentious relationship with the ownership. Yep, Jeremy Port's got it. It's Dave Winfield. Played for nine seasons with the New York Yankees. Started his career with the Padres. I think he went in as a Padre, right? Was that what it was? I was going to say, there's his Hall of Fame inscription right there. I was going to say that he, there's the PSA DNA right there. And that's going to be for the Yankees, Nancy with the Yankees, last spot mojo. Break number one, nice. He got drafted to the NBA. I was going to say, I feel like he got drafted to another sport. I didn't remember if it was football or basketball. All right, four boxes to go. Career 289 batting average, 2,866 hits, 384 home runs with uh, 1,628 runs batted in. Six-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a silver slugger. I'm in this team's Hall of Fame, and this team has my number retired. And I got into the Hall of Fame 
in 2019, last year. Think about your last year's Hall of Famers. With 75% of the Today's Game committee. That's how he got elected in. Some people, I think, maybe wasn't too into that. But And what team did he play for the longest? Ah, played for that team the longest. Played for Cleveland for a season towards the end of his career. Texas, Oakland, Baltimore. But played for this team. His first team, the longest. He came. He went back to that team a couple times too, including finishing off the last two seasons of his career with the team that he came up with. Not Viscell, not the kid, not George Brent. <laughs> He's going to keep T saying TJ's going to keep saying George Brent until he gets it. Not the kid. Not both. Not both kids. Viscell, not Jeter. Jeter only played for one team his entire career. Last year, Hall of Fame. He was in the Hall. He got in the Hall of Fame last year, 2019. I feel like someone. I feel like someone should get this. Uh, part of the Today's Game Committee. Which I think was controversial. Maybe people just forgot about it. Didn't think he was a Hall of Famer. It's uh no, not Edgar, not Alomar. It was uh Harold Baines. Harold Baines got into the Hall of Fame with 75% of the Today's Game Committee vote, which I think was a little controversial because people were like, ah, he should, he should. he's proud of it though. Hey, I mean, you're in. There's the PSA DNA sticker on the back. It should be the card down there. There it is. So he, and he played for the White Sox by far the longest. David Ross was Chicago. Uh, David Ross. The Cubs manager joining our breaks. Thanks, Dave, for, I guess, Coach. Thanks, Coach, for joining our breaks. All right, three more to go. Yeah, that would have been a good one to show the auto first, Joe. You're right. I wouldn't have guessed Harold Baines looking at that. All right, next guy. I like that this kangaroo is the the mascot for. Anyway. Okay, it's another another pretty familiar player. Who am I? A lefty, born in Cincinnati, Ohio. Two seventy nine batting average, three hundred and five home runs, one thousand seventeen runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Three time All Star, two time World Series champion. An A or an NL Rookie of the Year, an ALCS MVP, a two-time Silver Slugger, and part of this team's Hall of Fame. I think he was he's he's would be in the Hall of Very Good, but maybe if his body may have betrayed him a little bit. And uh, played for Oakland for a season at the very last year of my career was with Oakland. Before that, just before that, was with the Yankees for a couple seasons. Then played four seasons with this with the Cleveland Indians. And in my first eight years of my team, eight years of my career, was with the Braves. Yep, Tim and Brad got it. It's David Justice. All right, there's the PSA DNA card in there. If you can get that focus, there we go. He pr played with the Braves the longest. I almost wrote to David Justice. I don't need to send it back to David Justice. This goes to Nick Stober and the Atlanta Braves. This game's getting exciting too. We got an exciting break, exciting Toronto Boston game, minute left. No, 
minute left. We get overtime. All right, two more to go. We might see the end of the basketball game with two left, or maybe not. They'll, maybe they'll start fouling at the end. It'll take 20 minutes. This break will not take 20 more minutes. Oh, Jason Tatum throwing it away. That's not good for the hobby. All right, we've got uh, we've got an act. Is this our first active player? I think it is our first active player. I've been in the in, I've been in the league for about one, one, two, three, four, five. About one, two, three, four, five full seasons. In my rookie year, I finished uh, sixth in rookie of the year voting and was an all star. Lefty. I currently have a career 231 batting average, 129 home runs, 491 hits, 299 RBIs, and 17 stolen bases. This season, 184 batting average with six home runs, 18 hits, 12 RBIs, and a stolen base. Yeesh. Yeesh. My rookie year was really nice, though. I think in my in my rookie season in the first half of my rookie season I had 20 home runs hit 20 home runs it was in the home run derby too I want to say He's a lefty, he's a Dodger, who am I? He's currently a Dodger. This is going to go to uh, Aaron Pettit. Uh, yep, Rex and Tyler's got it. Jock Peterson. Got a cool autograph though. I think he's he's only hitting against righties though. But could be he's such an odd player. He he could be pretty clutch sometimes too. That's the crazy thing, but. All right, last one coming up. Seven seconds left. Game is tied. Kemba, layup no. Overtime, or they foul? Wow. 2.2 seconds left. Uh-oh. They got to get together and figure this out. All right, last baseball, ladies and gents. Good luck. I can just tear this open like a, like the Hulk. All right. Another active player to close things out. Is that really? Okay. Another act player to close things out. Um, I was a rookie of the year, a three-time MVP, a seven-time Silver Slugger, an eight-time All-Star, two-time All-Star MVP. Played for one team my entire career. I'm pretty good. I've got a lifetime 305 batting average with 300 home runs, 790 RBIs, 200 stolen bases. Jesus. That's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous. If it wasn't for like Miguel Cabrera one year, and um, yeah, everyone's got it. If it wasn't for Miguel Cabrera one year and Josh Donaldson going off at the end of the year, he would have had two more MVPs. How crazy is that? Ah, there you go. It's Mike Trout. There's the MLB hologram sticker right there. And that goes to Adam, who got randomized the Angels in this one. Pretty crazy. There you go. And a whistle and a foul with 0 0.9 seconds left. 
This is a wild one too. A wild finish here and a wild finish there. If you're re-watching this video, you're just gonna have to look on ESPN.com or whatever scoreboard side and look at what happened uh, on Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. There you go. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Woo, Mike Trout.